Hungry seals may have begun following their whiskers looking for food around 23 million years ago. Welcome back to Paleopedia and meet Podomotherium, one of the world's first forms of pinnipeds. Pinnipeds are seals, sea lions, and walruses, and they all started out looking a lot like otters around 23 to 30 million years ago. And while currently it's still some debate, it looks as though pinnipeds are closely related to mustelids, which include otters, which would explain why they look very similar when pinnipeds first began to evolve. Early forms of pinnipeds probably behaved just like otters, living along the shorelines of rivers and lakes around fresh water and diving in using their limbs to propel themselves through the water looking for food. These early pinnipeds probably foraged for food with their forelimbs, kind of rooting around in the rocks and amongst the seaweed looking for crayfish, shellfish, and small fishes. But if you look at the anatomy of modern pinnipeds today, they clearly cannot and do not use their forelimbs or now their flippers, to forage for food. They primarily rely on their whiskers. So at some point during pinniped evolution, they switched from using their forelimbs to using their whiskers to forage, but we didn't really know when exactly that happened until late this summer. Researchers from Italy, Greece, and Sweden, led by paleontologist Alexandra van der Geer from the Naturally Biodiversity Center in the Netherlands, visited Chicago's Field Museum to try and figure out exactly when this transition was made. There, they studied the museum's special skull models called endocasts. A skull endocast is the infilling of the space inside the skull, i.e. the brain cavity. This is an incredibly important fossil because it gives us a better look into what the brain of that animal looked like. The researchers compared the brain structures of Potomotherium with six extinct and 31 extant carnivorous mammals, including bears, mustelids, and seal relatives. Specifically, the team compared the size and structure of the region known as the coronal gyrus. Previous studies suggest that the coronal gyrus is used in processing signals from whiskers. They found that Potomotherium had a larger coronal gyrus than both ancient and modern mammals that utilized their forelimbs when foraging for food, like the Asian small clawed otter. However, it did have a similar size coronal gyrus to other seal relatives and semi-aquatic mammals that utilize whiskers when foraging for food, like the Eurasian otter. This suggests that Potomotherium utilized both its forelimbs and its whiskers when foraging for food. The team was also surprised by the amount of convergent evolution that they were seeing regarding this region of the brain. It wasn't just seals. Otters, civets, and other carnivorous mammals that use whiskers when foraging for food underwater, that developed the same area of the brain. The team was also surprised to see that the coronal gyrus looked the same in species with the same behavior, independent of family ties. Based on this, they believe that whisker-based foraging was already present in seals before they transitioned to a a more aquatic saltwater lifestyle. The study also has an added bonus of showing how important it is to look at endocast subfossils. Using these fossils will help us, if we look more into it, figure out the behavior of our modern day animals and how they evolved, including with our little seal friends today.